Hello everyone, in this video we will create a React application and connect it to MetaMask. It will be as simple as that. So to do that, I have created this step by step guide and actually it, does, it, it doesn't have many steps as you can see, it's just four steps. But I mean this will be useful and I will also share this in, in, the, in the repository which I will be pushing to GitHub and I will be also providing a GitHub link in the video description so that you can go and download all the files including this one and yeah this is the project that I have created it's a react application it's a boilerplate react application you know, I haven't done anything yet and then of course you need to open your react application in VS code and the first thing to do is we will make a cleanup first so that we can have a full control over our application and I will be deleting some files and, and some some lines of code so maybe you can do the same so fabriconaico1 logo logo manifest json so these four files I will delete it move it to recycle bin and then go to index.html and actually we don't need any of these link lines Delete it, also this blue commenting lines, also this fabric on Ico link, and it's done. Let's save it. Let me check one more time, yeah, it's done. And we are finished with the public folder. Let's go inside the source folder, and we will delete the app CSS, and also log SVG, report web vitals, set up tests, and also app.test. So one, two, three, four, five, these five files. Let's wait, it will soon be deleted. And then go inside the app.js, delete these two lines, and delete everything here between the header tags. And then create a simple paragraph so that we can see if our project is working. Oops, not here, here. And here maybe you can say hello. And that's it. Leave the app.js like that. Go inside the index, delete everything. Go inside the index.js, delete this part. And also this. And the rest is fine. So yeah, now let's see if our React project is ready for our MetaMask code and normally this npm should be also small letter but it's fine if you extensionally make it big it should start a few seconds and then we will add the MetaMask related code it will be the same as an index HTML we will of course change it so that yeah we see the hello message our react application works so now we can close this and so the first thing to do is of course to create the app component and I have created this app component let me grab this all and paste it here so but you know, I will be maybe deleting some lines of code so that we can do it together. Here I will delete this, I will delete. Okay, this one I can also delete. Also this one. Yeah, this is from another exercise, yeah. So, yeah, actually that's it. So imagine that we have a component as simple as that. It's a division and a header tag, and then we have a button and this button, there is an onClick function uh, to the button and the, the function name is connect metamask and this is a paragraph that has this um, uh, variable, let's say I mean, account will be our variable name in which we will be uh, passing values, passing some text between these paragraph tags and the first thing to do here is to import use state and when you say use state and press enter, the VS code will already uh, pass this line for you. And then we are finished with this one. And now 
we can first say const and let's make it an object ethereum is equal to window so why we need that actually if we don't put this line our our uh, our react application our react application connect cannot access uh, that ethereum window dot ethereum object so for that reason we are passing this line of code and then the rest is actually the same so I'll say let and we will use use state hook and I'm not saying const I'm saying let okay and here we will say account and set account so that we can we can store the account information inside this variable and then we can pass this variable between these parentheses I mean between these paragraph tags and here I will say use state and some empty codes and that's it and then we can now define our connect metamask function so let's say const connect metamask is equal to FAA so that we can create an asynchronous arrow function and then here of course the first thing is we will add an if statement if window dot ethereum is not equal to undefined which means that if window dot ethereum exists then we should be first grabbing the account information and we will say await and then ethereum request and then open some parentheses and also some curly braces and let's say method ethereum underscore request accounts and that's done and now we will say accounts nope nope i think yeah now we will say set account let's make it like that and we will say counts zero and that's it actually and let me see one more time yeah yeah actually that's it and nothing else here we are saving account the our variable I mean we are passing uh, the first account of accounts variable to our account variable I mean the names are same the names are same but they actually they are different variables this one is accounts this one is account but I think you already know this is it's the same as our index HTML and I think that's it you know this should work right now now let's go back to command line and say npm start it should start our project uh, of course I didn't add the CSS file so maybe I just close this I will also add the CSS file and as you can see CSS doesn't include anything actually it's just some basic simple CSS nothing complicated and now let's close it some button style some body style and some button over so that we can understand we are on the button let's save it again close this and now let's start it again npm start hopefully we will have a react application and then there will be a button inside that on that page and when we click on that button we should be able to access our metamask and also pass account information in a paragraph under the button and the thing is I don't like react actually but that's somehow very popular I mean like so yeah so when we click on this yeah you can see because my metamask is already open if your metamask is not open it will prompt metamask uh, that you you will enter your password and open the metamask so once you open your well maybe i can show it to you i will lock it now so that you will understand it better let's refresh the page so now if i click on this 
you see it's prompting MetaMask to open. And I will be now entering my password. Unlock it. Yes. Come on. Yeah. As you can see, this is the account information of my MetaMask. And that's how it is done, actually. It's as simple as that. And I hope this was useful. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.